bashe ni wajo koni wala ni wa su i'm here so i have to say so my consolation is to start with a yoruba program
the tree of knowledge, which is not supposed not to eat. So at creation in the Bible, the woman was not supposed to have knowledge. The man was not supposed to have knowledge. I said this is an intellectual realm. The Yoruba myth of creation. There were many men, only one woman. Not one man, one woman. And they went to God and said, God, we want knowledge. And God said, yes, I will give you knowledge. But you must search for it. That's the direct opposite of the Bible, where you are not supposed to have knowledge. In this part of the world, you must search and have knowledge. Yes. Although they did not have power, but they had ways of democracy. 
Justice was supposed to be applied in everything. The feudal system in the north, we are told that it is slavery. Yes. But if you remember that in the Western world, the feudal lords were protectors of the people. You are rich, you keep them. Then people started to abuse that power. The intention was not that you should punish people under you. You are supposed to protect them. The traditional system we have in this country was made up of states, men, and women. In Yoruba language, it means Oshiru. The one you brought is Ijoba. Those who read, who rule you without your permission. It doesn't look like your language. So when you lose your language, you lose your culture. So what the Bangladeshian did was to deprive us of our culture. Through religion and through education. Fella, thank you very much for telling us that we were miseducated. Yes, it was not taught. But we are practicing them. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it's amalgamation, the problem of Nigeria today. I am not saying it has not contributed to it. When you force people together, you create a crisis. But suppose, you can't ignore the amalgamation. Is it not likely that the society will have evolved? That is one that does the worst of this. That no matter, it can be two. They might have come across two communication, two business, and then decided to stay together. They did not give us that opportunity. Fine. So what do we do? Money to the Bible, to your ten so is true. So all of us will break down. Ladies and gentlemen, can you propose the number into which we are going to break? 265 nations in Nigeria. And that does not mean anything. You can break it to one. But the question is, what will be the philosophy of state management of every nation that works? The old Bible, what are you going to operate? Christianity. There are Muslims in the West, so you forget that. Africa for Africa. No, look, if I ask you to go to a traditional African religion, you are biased. It's not universal. Let us go away from that. The chairman has reminded us of two problems we have. Inability to manage the natural resources of this country. To be fair and just in the distribution of our resources. That is one problem. But then you break into 20 and you retain that, you cannot make it. But that's the most serious one, corruption. And I'm not saying that God might have introduced corruption to this country. But there was corruption in Nigeria before the came. Every society had corruption. Jacob Konoski said, the existence of a few thieves and liars in the society is not a threat. The threatening situation of Nigeria is that Nigeria is the den of thieves. Soldier. Nigeria is the den of thieves. Put him in the church, he's corrupt. Put him in the mosque, put him in the policies, put him in the professor that's there. So, what is the solution to corruption? I well, sir, I'm not a psychologist, but I think human nature to be selfish. It is human nature to take more than what is yours. So what is the solution? I think that Gila recognizes that. Ladies and gentlemen, when you want, to install a governor. What do you ask him to do on that day? Take a vote. Have you? And you give him the letters. The Bible, the Quran, and the Ogun, the Cutlass. Please, does your governor swear? No. Does he take a vote? No. No. He holds the Bible. And the first, I promise to. So. That is not swearing. That is not swearing. You don't swear that I promise. And already he's giving you the intention that I may fail you. So help me God to help me to succeed. So help me God not to fail. That is not swearing. He's praying. I may fail you. I may not succeed. I will try. But when I fail, and you know you're very safe. In the Christian faith, God is more ready to forgive you. That is, don't say, I'm sorry. Hallelujah. But in this part of the world, we do not believe in that. You must make up your mind that you are not going to be forgiven. You must make up your mind that the the problems of your neighbor is yours. You must promise that you are going to take care because you are a servant. Let me read the charter of democracy of Yoruba to you again in Yoruba because I saw them in Yoruba, so they will translate. I to want to know. I plan on you come. You don't have a friend, I love to let you talk about your name for your life. You want to go short for it, I don't think. When you come on so work by the door, when you come on for work, you sit there. You go out and let go, you go. You go out and let go. I 